I know I said I was going to film the uh, installation of the clutch and I apologize about that but these are the tools I use so I use a speed handle and I got uh, these are the front seal tools for both seals the remover and installer and these are Torx Plus and right here it's the uh, clutch installer and remover tool you can see that here's the clutch installer and remover uh, this tool right here is used to uh, smack it in and this is the socket that I mentioned that I made so I, I disassemble the motor one of those electric motors and uh, I just put a 10 millimeter socket no it's an 8 millimeter socket on there see this toolkit comes with an allen wrench and as you saw that the allen wrench did not work in one of those uh, actuator forks and I made this tool for that and we're gonna go to the bench and Vicente actually make made another one and I used the speed handle to go counterclockwise to unlock the springs on those let's go to the bench I'll show you the clutch okay so here's the clutch you can see it's a dual clutch it's a dry you can see all the clutch material coming out of it here's the two actuators that's the one that has rust in it, the one that's bad. And actually, uh, Vicente took apart the wrong motor. This one, this is the one that has uh, uh, rust in it. And he made himself a little tool as well, just to have it here, just in case I forget mine or whatever. But that's the clutch. Let's go back to the car and do the ad adaptations on it. Okay, so I had the car running for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, the battery went dead. So I think that's more than enough. It already uh, reached operating temperature. So I think we're ready to start the test. Uh, did I turn on my scan tool or did I forget to turn it on? Let's see. No, it is turned on. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, auto detect this thing. That already beeped. Okay. I'm going to press OK. Go ahead and put this thing up here. And actually, I need to turn it off. And I have my parking brake on. Click on forward. Stand alone. All right. Press OK. I'm trying to look at it through the screen, and it's a letter D. It's a 13, 13 model. Yes, the tenth digit is a D. That's a Delta. Okay. I could barely see that thing. All right. Let's see here. So once uh, I had the doors closed, because you got to have the doors closed, everything off. Uh, that's an aftermarket radio. I don't think that's going to be a big deal. The AC has to be off. Uh, Sony, no. And I know we went through on, on through, through this on the diagnostics, but we're going to go to uh, hot functions. We're going to do transmission adaptations. Transmission control module learning. Uh, let's see, key on engine off. All right, it says that it will cause some codes to pop up, no big deal. Okay, let's do a transmission range sensor because we pulled the transmission and we reinstalled it. So we gotta learn. My foot is not on the brake yet. We're going to have to wait for instructions. I'm not going to pause anything. I'm not going to edit anything. I mean, if you see this going on, I mean, that's how long is it going to take? Raw videos. I like to do raw videos. And I know some of you guys don't like to wait. All right. Perform adaptive learning. Do you wish to continue? Yes, I do. 
make sure the transmission is in park and it is in park and i forgot to roll the windows down it's getting a little bit warm in here let's go ahead and roll them down okay it's in park position okay i'm gonna press okay so i'm pressing the brake it's in park let's go ahead and learn the park position see how it's, it's in blue and it's gonna turn green there we go. Now we move it to reverse. Learn reverse position. We turn green. Move it to neutral. Neutral position. Learn turn green. Drive. Turn green and low. Turn green. Okay. We're going to press OK. We're going to go ahead and exit. And right here it says uh, sensor adaptive learning. It just gives you the, the ranges that it is. And it says range sensor 1 and range sensor 2 once on the transmission. And I believe the other one is right here on the shifter. That's why you have to learn. You have to learn both of them. So we are in low. We're going to go drive, neutral, reverse, and park. And we're going to press OK. Turn to the off position. Press OK. It's powering down TCM. Now we're going to do the shift drums next. Got a little bit noisy with the wind once I rolled the windows down because it's a little bit windy out, but it was warming up in here. So this is a uh, I'm at drive safe automotive right now you want to you live around here in this area you want to drop off your vehicle to get worked on I mean we'll be glad to do that all right function is now exiting okay so we're gonna do the shift drum next switch the key ignition to on and I move my camera to the side a little bit so I can read the screen instead of reading the small screen on the camera. Okay. Please wait. All right. Do you wish to continue? I want to press yes. Turn ignition to the number two position. It's already there. Depress the brake pedal and hold. Okay. Probably going to be able to hear the, the shift forks turning I don't know if you heard him I try not to say anything but I don't know if you heard him or not but you heard the I heard him all right so he's gonna power down again and then we're gonna do the clutch powering down Okay, it's almost there. I had to put you guys on pause a little bit because I had to move the seat forward because we're gonna go wide open throttle on the next test. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and turn the ignition key on. Let's do the clutch. Now, after this, you have to drive it smooth and you have to tell inform the customer that you have to drive it smooth for uh the first couple of days and ford calls that a uh, a green clutch a green clutch or a blue clutch i think they call it a green clutch and it's just a break break in uh break in the period that's all 
Okay, depress the brake pedal. Press OK. So it's gonna do the forks now. Past, past, past. Past and past. So we got two new motors, two actuator forks or levers, and a new clutch in it. Test. All right, I hope the battery did not drain. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the car. Okay, start it, good for me. Do not depress the throttle pedal, not yet, until it tells you to. Press the accelerator to the floor. Once you do that, then you press okay. Here we go. And kind of listen for the RPM. It's gonna drop twice where it's gonna touch it's a touch point i mean it's 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 a high rpm and then it kind of touches them a little bit and then touches it again and you you're probably going to hear it, hear it on the rpm here we go around there's one there was the other one Turn to idle. It's stabilizing the uh, engine RPM, and then it's going to do the idle touch points. So it does a wide open throttle touch points, and then it'll do idle touch points. So once the RPM is set, then it'll jump to the next step. doing his work you got to be patient it did shaft A already now he's doing shaft B There we go. 12.28 and 13.1. They're kind of close together. All right, so we're done with this thing. Switch to off. And power down. <clears throat> so I promise you guys that on the next uh, dual clutch transmission that we get in here, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and, because uh, I already filmed this right here and the diagnostics, the uh, reset, uh, or the relearn, whatever. The next one that comes in, I'll just do the clutch while the transmission's on the bench. And I think that's gonna be fair for everybody. I mean, sometimes you just can't film. I mean, you got so much things, there's so many cars out there, and there's some other things uh, that, go, that go on, you know, with me uh, uh, somewhere else too, where, I mean, I'm super, super busy, and sometimes I can't, I can't film sometimes but there we go I mean there we go power down complete we're done with this car